probably one of the most important tests that we can conduct in the 21st century is what happens when you dead short a tool battery. I've always wanted to know. So now we're gonna find out. Not getting hot. It's just hot outside. It don't look like it did anything. Well, that's not fun at all. Now the wire's hot. So now. Let's take it apart and see what happens. Wow, it is hot. Quite hot. You see that? 141. It's 143. So god dang hot outside. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Ouch. So evidently something occurred inside of it. So let's go take it apart. See what happened. That was not not very interesting. We didn't really learn anything. I really would have, could have sworn that it would have burnt that solid fuse right there in two, but it didn't. I don't think. It's still nice and warm. Is that some Work marks. No, I think that's just melted. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. Wonder if it'll make a drill go anymore. It'll make the lights blink. It ain't got no cheech in it, that's for sure. I wonder what the voltage would read. Got my new favorite little instrument here, my Idiot's Multimeter. Let's see what kind of, how much stank she got left in the tank. Already on, auto already on, auto. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like she's. So she's almost, she must be sick and tired and need a new battery. Oh man, I can get one of the, let me get the, the smarter one. How can that be? Oh, there it is. So 15.56, that almost leads me to believe that somehow it just drained the battery. I wonder if we can get it to charge. Hmm. I put the hood back on so we can pop it in the charger and see what happens. I've also got my little, my little, my little thing here. Let's see. Okay. Okay. That's. That's not good. It ain't doing nothing. And the solid red means charged. Well, that can't be right. It's certainly not charged. It also stinks. It's got that ozone stink coming out of it. It's not really, a, it's not a terrible smell though, to be perfectly honest. Um, maybe we can jump start it. You know, it's almost like 
shorting it just drained the battery all the way. So I've got my my handy dandy DC power supply. So maybe we can hook it up. Well, that didn't do anything either. So evidently it's per it has cut. Well, it didn't do that, did it? Because it still had the blinky, the lights blinky blinked on the drill. It just drained it down so far. I got another idea, a danger, particularly dangerous idea, but an idea nonetheless. And I'm gonna hook these batteries up. Negative. See if we can't jump start the battery. Hmm. That's very bizarre. Like there's no, it's not transferring any power into this. How can that possibly be? How, what is that? Oh. How could there not be any power going into this? But you can read the power reading on this. Right, can we? Can we read that? So. 15 volts. How can this be reading voltage? But it can't transfer voltage from from this to this like So a little bit of power is going through it. I mean just almost a such an insignificant amount that it almost doesn't even count. Well, that's a mystery of all mysteries. <laughs>